Welcome back to our YouTube English lesson. Today, we have an interesting phrase to discuss. It's on me. This phrase has multiple uses and can be used in various scenarios. Let's dive into the different situations where this phrase is commonly used. Scenario 1, someone paying for something for the other person. Example sentence 1, don't worry about the bill, it's on me. Example sentence 2, let me get this, it's on me. In this scenario, it's on me is used when someone wants to pay for something on behalf of another person, such as a meal at a restaurant or a ticket for an event. Scenario 2, taking responsibility for a mistake. Example sentence 1, I apologize for the error in the report, it's on me. Example sentence 2, the misunderstanding was my fault, it's on me. In this case, it's on me is used when someone takes responsibility for a mistake or misunderstanding due to their actions. Scenario 3, taking responsibility for another's mistake. Example sentence 1, I should have provided clearer instructions, so it's on me. Example sentence 2, the project didn't meet the requirements, it's on me for not communicating effectively. Here, the phrase is used when someone takes responsibility for another person's mistake due to a lack of clear communication or guidance. It can also be used in sports. Sorry, we lost today guys. It's on me. If I wouldn't have dropped the ball we might have one. Conclusion, it's on me is a versatile phrase that can be used in different contexts, whether it's about taking responsibility for a mistake or offering to pay for something. Understanding its usage will help you communicate effectively in various situations. We hope you found this lesson helpful and interesting. Don't forget to subscribe for more engaging English lessons. Keep practicing and have a great day.